2020 has been a really strange year and cricket is no different. We can't have an official award ceremony. So with that in mind, we've come down to the anchor in Digbeth for the Bears do a question of sport. Hello and welcome to Bears Den TV here at the Anchor in Digbeth, where the Bears are going to take on a version of the BBC's much-loved TV show, Question of Sport. With our partners, Marston's and Scriven's Opticians and Hearing, we're going to see these Bears answer some really tough questions and perhaps some easy ones as well. But this is a Question of Sport with a difference. There's going to be a few surprises thrown in along the way, guys. Okay, so let's meet our teams. Firstly, we've got Team Warwickshire with our captain, Oliver Hannon dolby Ollie, introduce me to your teammate. Uh, yeah, uh, I wanted a teammate who, who knew the most about sport. Unfortunately, he wasn't available. Uh, Sam was, so welcome, Sam. <laughs> Lovely, thank you to be here. Yeah. Thanks for coming, Pat. OK, we'll come on to how you're feeling in a minute. Uh, but first, I'll introduce Team Bears. Captain Will Rhodes, uh, tell me about your teammate. Um, yeah, young and upcoming star with, with loads of knowledge uh, to compliment me, so Dan Mosley is here with me. OK, um, so are you feeling confident, Team Bears? Yeah. I think, I think, <laughs> no, I think so. It's his first time on camera, so I think we're feeling pretty good, yeah. Quietly confident over there. All right, uh, coming back to you, Ollie. So you've not got the teammate you wanted, apparently. Yeah. But are you feeling quietly confident um, on your own? I, I'm going to say no, not really, because I know for a fact Dan's got some great uh, Aston Villa knowledge. But if we get a few cricket questions, we get a few golf questions, you never know, we might, we might shock a few people. Haney, is he being a bit harsh? He is being a bit harsh, I think. But look, I've got some knowledge. I mean, I've been um, on the weekend Googling some different things and hopefully um, you know, we'll give it a good crack. What's your specialist subject going to be on? Golf. Golf, yeah, OK. Right. Let's have some golf questions. I don't know if we've got any golf questions in that now. Yeah, then we're struggling. So we're going to start with the picture round. And the picture round's pretty simple. You're going to have 12 pictures, one minute on the clock, and we need to know exactly who they are. We're going to start with Team Bears. Love are you ready, guys? Yep. Okay. Yep. <coughs> We've got a minute on the clock. Chris Robshaw. Uh, Pass. Pass. Trump, Laura Trump. Johan Blake. James Corden. That's a great shout. Michael Fel Phelps. Oh, it's that he tennis um, player, innit? I don't know name. Laura but... Robson. No, no Heather something. Oh, Heather, yeah. Heather Watson. Chris Wilder. Max Verstappen. Oh, great. DJ Singh. Unbelievable. Ruben Nevis. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Siver. Yes. Do you want to go back to the one oh, that you passed oh, on? Do you want to go back to number two that you passed on? Have they still got time? Yeah. yeah. 15 seconds. Oh, my um, Jordan? That's no. definitely not Michael Jordan. Oh, I'm just naming basketball oh. player, I know. Come on, mate. Kevin Dur No, it's not him. No. Brian? No. No, no good. American no. sports, not my forte. No. There you go, your time is up. That was an exceptional round from Dan. And you've got 11. 11. <laughs> 11. 11 out of 12. Right. Okay. <laughs> Come on, pal. Here we go. Okay, all right. So now, Team Warwickshire, your picture round, your 60 seconds start now. No idea. Uh, pass. No idea. Kevin Sinfield. Oh. Patrick Reed. Yeah. Simone Biles. Wow. Greg Rutherford. Uh, the, the guy off the Love, oh, Love Island. Alex Hughes. Okay. No, Chris Hughes. Stop Chris Hughes. Stop the clock. Okay, um, so we need to just stop the clock for a minute because we have a special message from Chris Hughes. Yes, Sam, what's going on? Chris Hughes here, buddy. Now, first and foremost, congratulations on what's been another fantastic season for the Bears. Great work from you again and just goes to show all the hard work and dedication you put in from a personal point of view is something to be admired. I'm sure the junior Bears look up to you and see your record, especially in white ball cricket, how good it is. And it just goes to show that, you know, your your attitude on and off the field is fantastic. Averaging over 50 in the T20 Blast is a great achievement. And with that, setting an example 
the Junior Bears have selected you as their player of the season. So congratulations, mate. Hope this puts a smile on your face. Keep doing what you're doing. Go again next year. Have a beer tonight and celebrate. But yeah, go easy and see you soon. Ah, oh. Alex. <laughs> Alex. <laughs> Alex. Cheers, boy. <laughs> That's kind of cool, isn't it? <laughs> Cheers, Chrissy boy. Um, so ret before we return to the picture round, you've been voted for by the Junior Bears as the T20 Player of the Year. You're a massive Love Island fan. How does it feel to get that message off Chris Hughes? That's kind of cool, isn't it? I didn't, in, yeah, didn't expect that. So, um, yeah, I can't believe I've called him Alex before. No, but I appreciate that. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, OK. Well, Can we get back to the picture round, please? How have we got to go? Blushing from that. Yeah, uh, you have got... You always preferred myself to Chris. <laughs> right, are you ready? Are you poised? Yes, yeah, sorry. Start the clock. Uh, Paul... Casey. Yeah, good on you, boy. Oh my god, Ngidi? Ngidi, the South African bowler? No, no idea. No I idea. should go for next, no, no pass. No idea, pass. Uh, Gotten small. What an odd. Correct, stop the clock. What are the, can we have a look at the two others? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to interrupt once again, but um, we've got another message from Gladstone to you, Ollie. Hi, Ollie. Gladstone Small here. Congratulations on another excellent Red Bull season with the Bears. Your performances and figures prove that you've been one of the best Red Bull bowlers on the county circuit in the last couple of years. And in recognition of the 25 wickets that you've taken in the five games this year, you've been voted Warwickshire's Bobulous Trophy Player of the Year. And what an honour that must be to have your name associated with a true Warwickshire legend. Many congratulations to you, Ollie. Keep going and hope that even more wickets follow in 2021. All the best. Legend. <laughs> Cheers, Gladstone. Absolute legend. Congratulations, Ollie. You are the Bob Willis Trophy Player of the Year. What's it like to get that message off Gladstone? No, it's great. He's obviously a, a Bears legend, Gladstone. We all know that. Um, we do see him from time to time. He's, he's a still great ambassador to the club, so we see him on the odd golf day and whatnot. So, yeah, it's really special to get it off that message off a Bears legend. And just like he said, to sort of be associated with Bob Willis, you know, that's a great name to be sort of mentioned in the same breath as. So, no, yeah, that's awesome. Thank you for everyone who voted. That's great. Congratulations. But we've still got a game to play. Yeah. So. How much longer have we got left on the clock? 18 seconds and you've still got two passes that you might want to go back to and two to go. Right, you ready? You poised? Yeah, we're ready. Start the clock. Um, oh, it was on the... Big Brother, wasn't it? What's it called? No, he's... A yeah, yeah. Ball's player, isn't Next. It? It's a pass, but we'll come back to him. I'm so bad at this. <laughs> the Bulls player, mate. Should I the Bulls, baby? No. No. Fuck, can we go back to Bulls player? Dennis Rodman. Yes. Dennis Rodman. Stop. Ollie, that's outstanding, Hi. mate. Okay, so you had three passes. Um, so my maths is really bad. Nine. <laughs> Eleven, nine. Eleven, nine. Oh, that's all right. It's a nine. You got Eleven, nine, and two awards. Okay, so the next round is home and away. Okay, we've got some tough questions lined up. Now, a home question is a little easier. It's based around Warwickshire, so hopefully they'll know the answers. Uh, away questions could be anything from the world of sport, but you get two points for a, an away question or one point for a home question. So we're going to start with Team Bears and Dan. You are up first. Would you like to go home or would you like away? I'll go away. You're going to go away? OK. Love it. So which US women's football star won the golden boot and scored in the 2019 FIFA Women's World Cup final? Pinio. P I N I O T. <laughs> Is that his surname? I can't remember. Pino Grigio. <laughs> Pino Grigio. <laughs> the right lines, uh, like as in a surname. Okay. Yeah. Can I answer this? Um, no. no. Oh, I've got it. How do you not know this? I uh, know I've got the last name roughly right. I just can't remember her first name. Alex. I don't, I can't, I can't give it, can I? No. Sorry, Rosie. Sorry. <laughs> Do you know who it is? I know, is that rapping, rapping or yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Sorry, it's very, very, very close. Sorry. Very close. No points there. Sorry, but it's okay, because it's Haney up next. Um, <laughs> Haney, do you want to go home or away? Oh, I'm going to go home. You're going to go home? Yeah, I'm going to go home. 
Uh, who played arguably the greatest one day innings of all time with 104 in at Lords in 1993 to help the Bears to the NatWest Trophy? It doesn't <laughs> Can you name any woman who played in that year? <laughs> The 90s, yeah, I can. Uh, can you please repeat, uh, repeat yeah. the question? Who played arguably the greatest one-day innings of all time with 104 at Lords in 1993 to help the Bears to the NatWest Trophy? Can I, help, can I help him or not? 93? I wasn't even born yet. Wait, no, 95. That's depressing. 93. Um, you will definitely play golf with him. You will definitely come to golf days. <laughs> I've gone completely blank. <laughs> Can you give me a clue? <laughs> I don't think I'm allowed Ollie to be Ollie, you can't help me. Oh, Ollie, Ollie, so you can't help say the answer. No. Uh, his initials are, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know. AD. You still won't get that. That's not going to happen. No, Alan Donald. <laughs> no, no, I've never got 100, has it? Did you get the Dick's final against Sussex? Yeah. Yeah. AD. Come all within, come all without. <laughs> Mate, I'm the chance. Blue. So it is like a really loud noise. If if it if it's gonna rain, people say, oh, it's it's filled filled in back there. Massive din. There we go. Massive din. Stop on about. I would never ever have got that. Ad Alan Donald. He could have come in seven eight, mate. Got a quick hundred. <laughs> That's a hard question. Well, well done yeah, yeah. for getting there in the end. Um, okay, Will, are you going home or are you going away? Go home, please. Home, okay. Which Warwickshire legend made a double century in his first match for the county as a trialist in the second team and made a century on his first class debut and a century on his England test debut? Uh, Jonathan Trott. Mm, that is correct. And we spoke to Trotty. He's got a special message for you. Rosie. Congrats, mate, on winning the Kim Jones Cup four performance of the season. Uh, 207 against Worcester. Fantastic effort, opening the batting, leading from the front uh, and, and playing a skipper's knock. Uh, it's a very special award, this. So it's great to see performances like this up there and receiving it. Best of luck today also with Dan. Hopefully you beat OHD and Haney. Shouldn't be too hard. See you later. Congratulations, Will, uh, for winning the Kim Jones Cup for Performance of the Year for your 207 against Worcester in the Bob Willis Trophy. Now, you've played with Trotty quite a few times. How is it lining up against such a legend? Um, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, I think legend is, is, a, is a word you describe him with. Um, obviously, the stats you've just said in, in his question there was, was unreal. Um, you know, watching him and, and Belly back together um, for, for a full year was, was you know, actually a, a delight to watch and, you know, to share a bit of success with him. Um, winning Division 2 in, in his last year was, was amazing. So, um, yeah, great memories of playing with him. Congratulations. Um, well done. You got a point as well. Thank you. Not going too badly. Team Bears currently winning. Over to you, Ollie. Are you going to go home or away? Uh, I think I've got to go away, haven't I, given the score. We need, we need some points. OK. All right. Which Bears fan is a CBB's presenter and an ambassador to the ECB's all-star cricket programme? Um, <sighs> he tweets all the time about Warwickshire. There's, there's a picture of him on Twitter with Brian Lara in after a one-day final. That is the one, yeah. Is it... Um, burn? Ben Kadji. Ben. That is right. He is a huge Bears fan. Well done. Um, so he's got a message for you, Ollie. Hey, guys. It's Ben Kadji here. Now, as a huge Bears fan, it is an absolute honour to be able to do this for the club. And I just wanted... What's that? I should be wearing my Warwickshire shirt. Yeah, sure. No problem. The one from 94 when I was seven. Um, might be a little bit tight. Yeah. Excuse me. Won't be a sec. Um, OK, here we go. Warwickshire, la la la, Warwickshire, la la, you bears. Um, oh, there we go. I think it is pretty snug. Better? Great. There we go. Cool. Uh, as I was saying, an absolute honour to be able to do this for the club. Ollie, you have been fantastic this season, both on the pitch and off the pitch. Your hard work, commitment and dedication to the club and community does not go unnoticed. And that is why I have great pleasure in saying that you are the winner of the Rick Coleman Community Engagement Award 
as chosen by the Edgebaston Foundation. Mate, a fantastic achievement. I know that Rick, like me and the rest of the club, would be so, so proud of you. A great big well done. What's that? Mention the podcast? Just just about to. Yep. It's a bit David Brent this now, isn't it? Next I'll be uh, having to get the guitar out and sing a little song. No. Mm -mm. Maybe next season. Cool. Ollie, mate, winter well. Can't wait to see you charging in at Edgebaston next season and getting loads and loads of wickets. Hopefully it'll be a full house. Um, can't wait to see you and hopefully we can have a few beers as well. You bears! See you soon. Uh, congratulations on winning the Community Award. It's been renamed this year in memory of Rick Coleman. Um, you must be really proud to receive it. Yeah, Rick was an absolute uh, legend, really unfortunately died early this year. Um, it was a massive part of the furniture at, at Warwickshire and I know it was a big part of the, the Blues ground down the road as well. So yeah, to be to win an award that's got his name attached to it is yeah, really, really special. So thank you to everyone who voted this great. Congratulations, Ollie. Two points, two awards. Someone's doing well. Okay, so that means all to play for as we go into the final two rounds. There's a quiet confidence over here. How are you feeling, Bez? No, we're good. We're just getting, we're just getting warmed up, are we, Dan? Yeah, so we should, we should be fine. I mean, Haney's not even turned up yet. <laughs> <as it's laughs> we should be we're right. peaking at the right time, yeah, aren't we? We're always peaking, mate. <laughs> Team Warwickshire, how are you feeling? Uh, we're doing a lot better than I thought we were going to, so, you know, we'll just keep, keep going on like this. Nowhere. Keep going on like this, we'll be all right. Nowhere. What happened? It's all right. It's still time. There's still time. We've got two rounds left. Uh, so next up, we're going to go into Who Am I? Ollie and Sam, you have both got experience of this because I know that you do this with Richard Wilford on the Pod Blast. Check it out, podcast. <laughs> Available on all good podcast providers. <laughs> if you get the correct answer in one go, you get five points. If it takes two clues, then you get four and so on and so on. Um, we're going to come to you first, Sam. How are you feeling? Yeah, very quietly confident about this round, <laughs> if I'm being honest. I mean, you've done quite a few answers with clues along the way, so maybe that will stand you in good stead. This is me. I'm <laughs> okay. ready. Who am I? A shrewd acquisition from Essex. Shrewd acquisition. Do you want a next clue? Baron Chopra. No. Stylish left-handed championship winner. Nick Knight. One of England's great ODI Nick openers, Knight. but somehow robbed of a World Cup place in 1999. Nick Knight. <laughs> Captain does in the first ever finals day. Nick Knight. One of the popular voices and faces of Sky Sports Cricket. Final answer, Nick Knight. Thank you. That was very Correct. good. That was good, that. Yeah. So you got that on the second clue, so four points. Four points. That was good, though. That's why I selected him, eh? I told you, that. that's me. That's me. That's me. Right. I just thought he was the wrong. Okay. When he kept on going, I thought he right. kept on saying the wrong answer over and over again. He was going Chris Wright. What? England's greatest ODI battle. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do that. Okay, Dan, how are you feeling? Yeah, I'm quite confident. <laughs> I, I think you're gonna. I think you might get this on the, on the first answer. Um, okay, so please tell me which bear I am describing. Played against Shropshire and West Indies in his debut season. Not sure. Okay. Next clue. Okay. We could have lost him to football. Keith Barker. Once took a first innings nine for and then had to leave for a test. Chris Wokes. Middle name is Roger. Chris Wokes. <laughs> the Brummy Botham. Chris Wokes. It is Chris Wokes. And do you know what? He's got a message for you. Watch this. Hi, Dan. Congratulations, mate. I'm happy to announce you have won the Young Player of the Year this year. Um, a great year for yourself, mate. Great to see you get an opportunity in the first team uh, and produce the goods. To see a young lad come through the system and perform for Warwickshire is brilliant. So keep up the good work and congratulations. Congratulations on a great season, Dan. So you've gone from being a second 11 player of the year, then scoring an under-19 World Cup century, making your debut. Uh, the final game of the season, you were phenomenal and you've just won Young Player of the Year. What an 18 months. It must have been quite an exciting time for you. Yeah, it has been an exciting time. Um, playing academy cricket only two years ago and then to get the opportunity in the second team and performing well. And then this season, in an indifferent season, to actually perform in the first team and do well, yeah, it's been really, really good. Thank you. What's it like to get a message off Wilkesy? Yeah, it's really good. I wasn't expecting that, to be fair. So to get a message off Wilkesy is also a big Villa fan as well. So 
for me that was brilliant <laughs> well congratulations and you got three points not bad at all okay ollie on to you and your bears legend yeah. are you ready yeah i'm ready okay born in the year england won the f football world cup Okay, so 1966, so old there now, they're 40. 50, 54? Who's 54? No, older than that. No, older than that, mate, do your math. 64. 20. No. Oh, it's 54. <laughs> it's 54, I was right, yeah. It's definitely 54. Um, who's 54? Who's in that bracket? I feel like you can see the answers. I'm sure, careful. You won't join your next one. It would be 50. Sean Pollock. Next, go next, go next. Jeff on pitch. <laughs> That's a good guess. <laughs> One championship, two cup wins, a Sunday league, and a lot of caps. It doesn't help us out. That. That's the opening. No. D Dennis Amos is older than that. Alex Clue? Dennis is older than that. Sean Pollock. He would not have had Mike Atherton on his Christmas card list in 1998. Huh? Alan Donald. <coughs> Once given a round of applause from the Bears faithful as a bowling coach. Alan Donald. White Lightning. Alan Donald. Alan Donald. Yes, you I said it really, yeah. didn't you? Final answer, Alan Donald. Alan Donald yeah. uh, guess what, Ollie? You've got a message from Alan Donald. Hi, Ollie. Uh, I thought I'd use this opportunity to congratulate you on uh, an unbelievable season for the Bears. To have taken uh, 25 wickets in uh, just five games in the Bob Willis Trophy is a monumental effort. Um, and I think, it's, uh, I think you should be very, very proud of what you've achieved um, uh, as a seaman in red ball cricket in the last couple of years. As recognition for what you've done, our Warwickshire members uh, have voted uh, you as the members player of the season. Many congratulations, mate, to you. Uh, and I hope that uh, you can follow that up with even more wickets and success uh, next season. So a, a message there off a proper legend. Yeah. Um, what is it like to, to get that message? Yeah, that's about, AD is obviously an absolute legend, both for Warwickshire and obviously South Africa. I like said white lightning and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, so that's, that's unbelievable. He's, he's a proper bear, like he, he was coach. Um, for Kent a few years ago, and I think that's when he got that round of applause you were mentioning. He did a lap of the ground, and the members still love him. He just loves cricket. He loves he loves the Bears. So to, yeah, to get that off him, that's um, yeah, really really special. Thank you. That's great. Members Player of the Year. You have a really special relationship with the members. What does it mean to scoop this award? Yeah, it's great. great. Like I say, it's obviously they, they vote for it. Um, most of the time, the members, you know, the the great people. You know, they love the cricket. They love Warwickshire. They, they want to see us do well. And I've always found it great chatting to the members, whether it's after day's play or on a boundary rope or somewhere, you know, they're, they're good people. So, um, like I said, to get voted by the members is great. So thank you very much. That's, that's awesome. Congratulations, an award and three points. Will, who am I describing? Captained his country, but never the Bears. Uh, Ian Bell. His dad and his uncle were also internationals, but not Bears. Oh, I can't help you here, mate. Think legend. Think legend. I'm trying to think legend, to be honest, but... <laughs> Dad, isn't it? Um, I've got it. Uh, what, is it your brother and dad, internationals? No, it's dad and his uncle. Oh. Next clue? Yeah, next clue. One of only nine cricketers to have taken 300 wickets and scored 3,000 runs in tests. Do you know? <laughs> no, Do you not know? No. I've got no idea. Haney knows apparently though. No, I got it. Do you know? Yeah, I got it. Do you know? Yeah. Do you know? Do you know? Yeah. Do you know? Is he a proper legend? No. Yeah, leave it. Big time legend. Big time legend. Like... I don't know. No idea. Took four wickets in four balls on his Bears debut. <laughs> oh, I think I know who this is. Do you? I think. Can I? Yeah, yeah. Could, uh, was he in overseas? Mm -hmm. Sean Pollock. Is it? Oh, it is as well. That's a great shout from you. Open the bowling for South Africa with a fellow bear. What is your yeah, answer? Yeah, Sean Pollock. It is Sean Pollock.
But I think I have to give you that for one, not two. Two? Okay, you got two points there. Great work, partner. I think we're in the lead here. Are we in the lead Poor here? Sean. He had, a mess he, had a <laughs> he had a message for you, but because you didn't get him early on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he's pulled it out. Sod word, well, he's not having my message. <laughs> So that completes round three, all to play for. And the next round is gonna be a good one because it's time for the sprint finish. So the final round of the quiz is the sprint finish. It's all to play for. Currently Team Warwickshire in the lead with 18 points, but following closely on their heels with 17 points are Team Bears with the potential for 10 points up for grabs. Now all you gotta do is act out either an athlete, a sport, a term used in sport, or a venue. We're going to hand over to Will first. You confident, Will? Um, I'm, I'm confident on Dan's knowledge of sport, but not my acting ability. So it could be a quite quite interesting. This morning. <laughs> We're going to have 60 seconds on the clock. One point for every correct answer. All to play for, as I said. Come on, then. Let's get ready. All right. We have 60 seconds on the clock, please. <laughs> Okay, three, two, one, go. Um, <laughs> oh, into, a sam, into a sample. High jump, triple jump, long jump. Yes. Um, off, off, like, um, back pad. An, an extra, an extra. Like Leg bye. Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Um, suit and tie, England manager. Go off south, go. Yes. Shot put. Yes. No. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Um, he got a lot of them. Wickets. This, yes. Um, second biggest team in Birmingham. Birmingham City. No other one. Villa. Oh, no. <laughs> I would feel. Um, I just said cricket that. commentator known for um, the last. The last. Um, last of summer wine. No. 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 <laughs> When Butler takes the stump, who's, who was commentating? New Zealand bloke. Yeah, him. But what was his name? Pass. Oh, yeah, come on, man. Um, rugby, what if, if it goes pass. that way? Pass. Time. Go. No, no. Yes. Yeah, that, yeah, I'm going to give you that. I'm giving you that. I'm giving you that. How have you not Ian Smith, man? I don't know. A great performance from Will and Team Bears, but now it's Ollie's turn on Team Warwickshire. Feeling confident? Uh, to be honest, they were really good there. We had a nice little lead, and mm -hmm. uh, oh, they're clearly in the lead. So yeah, we need to be good here. They were good, so we need to be better. We Come need to be better. Right, 60 seconds on the clock, please. Ollie, take your position. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Swimming. Butterfly. Yep. Um, in, in rugby, uh, goal kick, place kick. Yeah, but the uh, guy from England won the World conversion. Cup. Conversion, uh, Johnny Wilkinson. Very good. Um, in golf, you've got lots of them. You've got lots. Uh, you Chips, own lots drives, of them. shots. You own lots clubs. of the club. You own lots of this specific club that you used to do this with. The little ones on the green. You own this club. You own loads of this specific club. This is my the, club. You're on the green with Chipper, Putter. Yeah. There we go. Um, I said that. They've just won uh, the NBA. They've just won it. Um, uh, uh, Lakers. Yes. Um, in cricket, we read the. Uh, we read the scoreboard. Very good. Um, Ready, steady, go, go. Oh, jump, oh, running, oh, no. oh, full start. You're very good. Um, just retired, um, greatest cover driver ever for Warwickshire. Ian Bell. Yeah. Um, in football, if you're a bit too far in front, you are... Offside. Very good. Um, I have field there because I'm a rubbish fielder. Fine leg. Very good. Um, he's the England coach, Redham oh. Zoom. In England rugby coach. Oh, From, uh, he's a Kiwi, uh, no, he's an Aussie. Yeah, he's an Aussie. Uh, what's he called, what's he called, what's he called? No, I don't know. His first name is... Eddie Jones. Yeah, very good. Okay, so the final answer there was Eddie Jones. Uh, England rugby coach. We have a message from Eddie Jones for you, Ollie. Okay, Eddie Jones here. Uh, we're in the bubble in Teddington. Uh, we've got some great news. The player of the year for the Warwickshire Cricket Club is Oliver Hannon Derby. Uh, big unit. Should be playing rugby at six foot seven, not bowling fast. Um, but he had a great season, uh, took plenty of wickets in the four days and you know, fastball has set the scene. I always remember having a meeting with Ian Chappell, who was my boy 
hood hero in Australian cricket. He said, fast bowlers win your test matches. It's a bit like Fords in test match rugby. They do all the hard work. They put their body on the line. So well done to Oliver. And I'm sure you're all pleased for his award. Cheers. Ollie, Players Player of the Year. You've won four of the seven awards. I think you might have won the competition as well with your team, but we'll come on to that in a minute. Um, how do you feel having had a bit of a haul today? Uh, well, obviously, like you said, the quiz is a big prize, but um, yeah, no, that's really special. That's a nice message from, uh, from Eddie. And um, yeah, to have the lads vote for you, yeah, that's, that's really, really lovely. So cheers, lads. Did you vote? Did you vote for me? Dad? I did vote. Oh, cheers, mate. Yeah. Captain Will, you are Ollie's captain. What does it? What What kind of a difference do you think he, he makes to your team? Um, yeah, he's, he's obviously been incredible for the last two years for us. Um, you know, to have him in, in your attack, you know, he's always he's always there or thereabouts with the ball, and, and, and he's a great presence to have in the dressing room. And when you've got someone like that who performs day in day out, is 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 perfect for me as a captain. You know, when you, he always wants the ball, probably too much sometimes, which. You know, credit to him, he's always there for us. So, um, yeah, he's been amazing. Red Bull cricket this year, 25 wickets. Is, um, it's just a shame that we couldn't get a full year out of him and, and play a full 14 games. You know, who knows how many wickets he'd have got if, we, if we'd have had a full summer. So, yeah, amazing, amazing summer for him. OK, so that wraps it up here for Bears Den TV. The end of Bears Do a Question of Sport. Thank you to our partners, Marston's and Scriven's Opticians and Hearing. But we need to know who the winner is. There's been some winners right the way across the board. Everyone's going home with an award. Let's, let's just remember that. Um, but the winners of today are Team Warwickshire with 27 points. Boy, underdogs. Oh, underdogs uh, all throughout. Please. Never write me off. Um, <laughs> Will, Dan, how do you feel about losing to these two? The, these two? Oh, I didn't know Haney was here today. So, um, Ollie did really well. Ollie did really well, so... Um, yeah, Dan's just, you know, he's going to have to work hard this winter. Hi, yeah. Antonia. Spot of knowledge, but no, great, great team effort from those guys. Congratulations. You still did very well. Very good performances over there. Uh, you are the winners of Bears Do a Question of Sport. Sam, how important was Ollie to your win, do you think? All I'd say is, you know, that final run, I think I had to step up. And, yeah. and, and you and I did that. Yeah. So on a, on a rainy day here in Birmingham, it means a lot to me. And, and I know it does to Ollie as well. So, um... You know, a bit of luck next time, lads, but um, we're the winners. That's yeah. what matters. Yeah. And, you know, obviously it's, it's, it's sad, isn't it? Because Dan's had a special haircut for today and it's, <laughs> all, it's all wasted now. But play get it finished and get play it finished now. Play. Thank you very much. As captain, is there anything you can do about that? No, there's not, there's not much you can do about these two. So, no, we'll, we'll see. Congratulations to all of you. You've all done amazingly. Um, so from here at the Anchor in Digbeth, that is it. That is your Bears End of Season Player Awards. Congratulations. We have all the winners in one room. Everyone was a winner today. Um, thank you for tuning in and thank you for being a part of Bears Den TV this year, even though it was from afar. Next season, we'll be back with a vengeance, won't we? Hope so.